<laughs> Guys, we have more leaks, okay? And this time, it's a little bit more crazy. It's a little bit more of a 1.1 thing, guys. Also, don't worry about my nose. I messed my nose up by uh, trying to fix it. And don't ask any questions, okay? That's, that's private business. All right, anyway, guys, like I said, we have huge, maybe, take it with a grain of salt, huge leaks out that are probably coming within the 1.1 patch when it launches, which will be the 11th of this month, which is in a couple days. So... Before we go over all this information, before we go over anything, I just want to say, guys, if you are new here, if you, yes you, I know you're new, and that subscribe button is still red, and that like button is not blue, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Join the subscribers on the grind to 900 subscribers. We are almost at 1K, guys. I can't believe it. I can't believe you guys. I love y'all so much and please continue to support because I was I will continue to support you guys and love you guys always and y'all will blow up with me. And as always, I will talk to you in the comment section down below. Go ahead, shoot me a text, anything. All right? Make sure it is whisker chan friendly and everything friendly, okay? Anyway, guys, also drop a like down below if you enjoy this content. You're going to enjoy this content. Drop the like down below. Go ahead. This is a great huge leak. You're probably like what is it, Whisker? All right, let me get into it. You probably skipped this intro. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's get into it. All right, so as you can see, shout out to Neptune, guys. This is his at on Twitter right here. Go ahead and drop a follow for him. He drops the leaks and all the new information about Genshin Impact. He is an amazing person, okay? Anyway, um, what we have here is we have the umbrella. This is Scaramouche. I hope I pronounced it right, but this model was uploaded. So basically what this is, as you can see, this is a new character we have never seen before. And for it to be uploaded, that means that soon we will be seeing this character in the game. Now you're probably asking who is Scaramouche and who, like, see as you can see right here in this picture as well, he is in the background. So you're probably saying who is Scaramouche and when is he going to show his appearance in the actual game, right? And is he going to be playable, which is the main question. Okay, so right here, as you can see, we have Scaramouche is ranked 6th of the 11 Fatui Har Harbingers. Is it Harbingers? Yes, 6th of the 11 Fatui Harbingers. So far, he has not made an in-game appearance, basically, right? Um, according to rumors by Victor, Scaramouche is not well liked. Some people say he's and this he has a disagreeable personality, while other people say they don't know he doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. Okay, so basically he is one of the Fatui Harbingers, and not just one of them, he is ranked sixth in them. And as we know, our boy child is ranked eleventh as a Fatui Harbinger. So I'm pretty sure this goes in a certain way to where the higher the number on the Fatui Harbinger, the stronger they are. So he's gonna clearly be stronger than Child, and that is actually unbelievable. Since considering Child is actually broken, if you watched the preview, which I'll probably show actually. Uh, no, I'll show it for another video actually. All right. So anyway, let's get into a little more detail about it. Also, shout out to Zenit right here. His at is right here for Twitter because he drops little leaks and whatnot about Genshin as well. So let's get into it. As you can see, uh, this was post uh, just posted a new model called Genshin Impact Scaramouche. Now, take this with a grain of salt, guys. Like I said, take all of this with a grain of salt because this is not all official information. This is data mined and all that type of stuff, okay? This is leaks, okay? This may not be true. It may be true. But he is going to be in the game regardless. So we're going to go over what he may have. This model is rigged. Um, he is a playable character with Electro Element and Catalyst. So what we're looking at is another Electro unit. Now, he's going to be a mage, basically. I'm pretty sure Catalyst is what Mona has and is what also Klee uses. And that is a mage. So he is going to be similar to probably like Lisa, except he's going to have his own little different, you know, personality and how his attacks look. But he is going to be an Electro Element and ca have a Catalyst weapon. And his first appearance is in the Aster Event Part 3. Now, we don't know much about that, but we're going to do some research and I'm going to actually see if I can find anything. If I don't, I will just come back and we'll describe some more things that actually make sense about him making his appearance in the game as a playable character, maybe, and also as just a character that we finally get to see. So, anyway, guys, where will he make his appearance? Well, we clearly know he probably is going to make his appearance in 1.1. You're probably saying, but why, Whisker? Now, let's refer to this clip. Okay, so as you can see, 
in this clip, the Fatui were doing a lot. This is the 1.1 update. We're getting a lot of content, guys. But as we can see, the Fatui is doing a lot of evil things, which appear to be, right? And we see that child turns on everybody, basically. I thought he was a good guy. I'm not going to lie. He really got me good. And I'm sad now. But anyway, he's, he's like Sasuke or something. But anyway, like I was saying, basically, there's going to be a lot of Fatui drama in part. Uh, in, in part. Yeah, basically, in part 1.1, there's going to be a lot of Fatui drama, which leaves them to introduce more of the Fatui Harbingers in the upcoming update. Right? They would, they should, and they would release this this one of the fatui harbingers in this 1.1 update whether that is as just an appearance like before like there was also there was other characters that had their appearances where we never saw them again basically like um that lady that beat up venti i forgot her name but she was one of the harbingers of fatui as well i forgot her name but she beat up venti right in front of us and we did nothing like poops but anyway guys like that he's probably gonna make an appearance in 1.1 or like there may be a chance take this with a grain of heavy salt that he is a playable character soon uh not soon soon but like you know cut probably like two months after the zonglee and child all the only and child banners go away probably like two months after that he will be a playable unit maybe we don't know i'm just estimating a time for how they do the summons and banners in this game right so so far the character we don't know much, like I said, we don't know any skills, he's never made an appearance, so we know no skills, we know nothing, but we do know his character design model, which is this, as well that he is a Fatui Harbinger, and he will most likely, like 90% out of 100%, make a uh, appearance in 1.1, guys. He's probably going to be a really, he's probably going to have a, he's going to be a 5 star unit, 100%. He should be a 5-star unit, and he should get his own banner, just like Child is getting his own banner. Because they made Child, which is a Fatui Harbinger, and the lowest rank of them, basically. They made him into a 5-star character with a banner that is on the way, probably after his own leaves, right? So, in my opinion, what they're going to do with Scaramouche, right here, they're going to most likely make him his own banner, have him his own featured units and he's going to be five star a five star electro type which is going to be really cool because we i don't know we do we do have kicking okay so we don't have a five star catalyst electro type though so that would be really cool them adding new characters in the game in general is really cool and i like his character design it's absolutely insane and the fact that he's one of the Fatui, one of like he's ranked six is really really cool to me and i feel like this is going to be this is going to be insane right I also want to clarify that it also says right here. I just it also says right here that he was he appeared in the unreconciled stars official art. So the un unreconciled stars official. This is the un re, I can't say that the unre unreconciled. Okay, unreconciled guys. This is the art for that right there. And if you don't know what that is. That is the 1.1 update. This will be coming, estimated to come, but it should be coming November the 11th. They already made the trailer. It said it was coming November 11th, so it should be coming November 11th. Let's hope there's no delays. But basically, he is coming guaranteed in 1.1 since he is in the art of the Unreconciled Stars. This right here, the Unreconciled Stars event will take place in this version, which is 1.1. So we will, guys, and we will be seeing some more of the Rank, Sith, rank 6 Fatui Harbinger Scaramooch. Scaramooch. <laughs> we'll be seeing way more of him, and he might even be playable, actually. So we'll see about that, and we'll also see what happens and how this all rounds up. But as you guys can see, there's going to be a lot that goes on, guys. Like, absolute a lot. It's gonna be so good. Uh, the cinematics are insane, by the way, guys. Shout out to... Shout out, shout out to MiHoYo. They are so good. But yeah, that's really about it, guys. Just wanted to let, let you know that this is on the way in 1.1. That boy, Scaramooch, and he is going to finally show himself. I don't know how he's gonna show himself. He might be, like, badass, or he might be just, like, the most evil thing we've ever seen. We'll see. Until then. But... That is about it for this video. I just wanted to update you guys on this new character that is going to probably be insane. And he might be playable in 1.1. There is a chance that he can be playable in 1.1. We will see about that after all the Zone Lee and Child Banner commotion. But until then, 
take this with a grain of salt. At least we will be seeing the sixth harbinger, uh, har yeah, harbinger of Fatui, which is Scaramouche in 1.1. That is cool. Anyway, guys, without further ado, thank you for watching this video. I said that very enthusiastically. Wow, I feel good. All right, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Join the subscribers on the grind to 900 subscribers, guys. Go ahead and do it right now. You're watching my content, you clearly enjoy it. I'm only gonna make better content, and that is all due to y'all's help for feedback and all y'all's love. It just motivates me so much to keep going. I love you guys, and thank you so much for all the support y'all give me. Okay, and drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video, and if this video was informational, and if you're hyped to see this guy because. I'm actually really hyped to see him. I want to see how strong he is. I want to see how his skill set uh, looks. 1.1 has a lot to offer, guys, and it's going to be so good. So let's see about that. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.